Righto folks, here it is. The last tree cover of patch one. Patch one is done. Morning everybody, welcome back to Mother's Ruin on a grey and drizzly day. Uh, been a bit quiet on the video front this week because we've been on a mission to plant the rest of patch one and that's turned into 300 and something trees. So, um, big week this week, uh, Christmas week. Wife's been home, trees to plant. Haven't done a tractor, haven't done a veranda, haven't cleaned the yard, did mow my lawns, but uh, yeah, plenty going on. So I've got 80 trees to plant this morning. I thought I'd show you a bit about how it's done. Um, I know I've shown some people before, but there's a few new people floating around. Uh, it's very, very simple. We uh, dig a hole, stick a tree in, fill the hole back in, put three pegs around it, put a cover on it. So we'll get through that this morning. But I want to show you something pretty exciting before we start. Okay, so this is tree number two in row number nine. And what's exciting about it is that it actually has juniper berries on it. The exciting part about that is that this tree was a cocky tree. So one of the trees that had the top chewed off of it was this one. And we put it in a pot as a cutting and it grew and it's grown berries. Now, where that gets exciting is not a single tree in this patch is over four years old, which means that within four years, there is a potential that all of these will in some way produce berries okay that's exciting point number one jumping out of my skin exciting point number two is it means we also have definitely male and female cross-pollination occurring between the trees which was again another proof of concept that we had to show the dog's down here chewing on something that he's found in the paddock i'm not sure i like that because i don't know what it is but Anyway, um, the other thing you can see is you see the weeds in the rows down the bottom here. No weeds in these rows. Um, not worried about the weeds. The weeds help hold the moisture in. Um, this has been very dry to plant. And uh, a little bit of rain today is nice, but we're still going to need to put some water in. So anyway, let's go uh, plant a tree. There's three basic steps in this process. Plant the tree at the watering point, which is just about here. Plant the tree, stake the tree, cover the tree. So, common juniper with root. Oh, lots of watering point. Dig a hole. Put the tree in the hole. Stake the tree, which isn't always easy in this ground because it is still quite firm. So it hasn't rained for some time. And then cover the tree. And that's about it. Super complex. And now, I have to repeat that 84 more times. Uh, there'll be a male going the start here. So there's a tree to go there and a male to go there. And then there's five females and a male, five females and a male. And away we go. I'm going to do all the females first and then do the males. Uh, I'll show you why. And then I'll stake all the trees and then I'll water all the trees and then I'll cover all the trees and then I'm going to go home and have a bubble bath. So the males are all in a tray like this. 
and it gets awkward to carry and lift and carry and lift and carry. So females first, have a little break, do the males, have a little break, do the posts, have a, a little bit longer break, and then do the covers and then have a long break for a week or two. So righto, I'll hook in, I'll see you in a while. And just in case you're wondering, it's not winter in Australia. It's very, very warm today. All right, trees are all in the ground. So, now I've just got to stake them all. They've all been watered. Just gonna stake them all and then put the covers on and then pick up all the pots. The pots are on the ground so I know where the trees are. The dog has sat on a couple this morning and as such, he's back in the ute. So, I know, get some stakes done and some covers and then clean up and wrap up and Go on. Okay, sticks are all in, both sides, which means there's only 85 covers to put on and then pick up the little pots and we're done. And it was supposed to be raining today and the sun's trying to come out and it rained last night. So it's uber steamy this morning. Righto folks, here it is, the last tree cover of patch one. Patch one is done. Righto, so that's patch one complete. There's an estimated 650 odd trees in this patch. We started planting in July. We finished in December. My goal was to have it done by Christmas. It's done by Christmas. So We'll see the weeds grow up around the trees, that's fine. Not worried about that just yet. When the trees are bigger and healthier, and not so slender, we'll come up with a way to manage the weeds a bit better. We, uh, we'll come down and check the rain gauge. We go and empty the tank up the top. And uh, go home and prep, plant the next 800 in the new year. Let's have a look here. There's nine mil in there and no mil in there, so nine mil overnight and uh, the ground's loving it. So, all right, well, I'm gonna take that up there and empty it and take all of that back to town and uh, get on with some tractor after lunch. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time and your patience. Uh, we are getting there. We do know this is going to work. We're just going to take time and energy now. So. And this is patch number two. I've just got one more rotary hoe to put over the top. I've got all the irrigation stuff to put the lines in across the bottom. And I've got 800 trees at home. Not that this patch is going to take 800 trees. It's probably only a 400 tree patch, but, and then there's another 400 to put in over there and some more down there. And yeah, try a day. From here on in, one tray of trees a day. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay safe. If I don't talk to you, we don't say hello. Have a great Christmas and see you later. There's been a few questions about the silver dollars and how they're going. Well, that tree is 400 mil high. This one over here, well past 400 mil. And apart from a couple that died down the bottom, they're all going gangbusters. And most are starting to approach popping out of the top of the covers, which is a huge outcome. I think their growth will only improve. Poor old tractor. Tomorrow. Tomorrow tractor. Your turn tomorrow. And just in case I get bored, there's 24 trays of 40 trees and some more pots. So there's almost double what's already in the ground. Still to go. Thank <laughs> you.